Hi, I'm Stephen Esheba, and I'm here to help you out with assigning formal charges to non-metal atoms when those uh, non-metal atoms are in a, in a, in a non-metal compound. And the basic idea here is that the formal charge uh, tells us something about the excess of positive or negative charge on a, on, a, on a given atom. And we get at that excess by saying, well, first we'll write down the number of valence electrons that an atom should have, and then we're going to uh, subtract away the number of, of, of electrons uh, that are claimed by that atom. And you'll just see how that works here. Uh, so I'm going to start off, I have this Lewis structure for carbon dioxide, and I'm going to just start off on the left here. Um, how many electrons does that uh, oxygen claim? Well, I count one, two, three, four. Now those are lone pairs, so only oxygen gets to claim those. But here's a couple of bonds, and each bond has two electrons. And uh, since we think of them as shared uh, electrons in a covalent bond, uh, this oxygen gets to claim one electron for that bond and another electron for that bond. So what are we up to? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, so uh, that means the number claimed is six. Oxygen has a valence of six electrons. So we come up with uh, a difference of zero. And so we write it uh, that way. How about uh, that oxygen? Well, it looks like it's just going to be the same as the first one. Uh, how about that carbon? Well, carbon has a valence of four, and how many electrons is it claiming? Well, I count one, two, three, four, one electron from each bond, so I get a difference of zero, and there we go. All formal charges are zero on carbon dioxide. I'll try uh, NO2 now. I've already drawn a, a Lewis structure for NO2. And, uh, well, this oxygen looks just like that one, so I know that that's going to have a formal charge of zero. Uh, this oxygen is looking a little bit different now, right? Uh, the number of, well, valence electrons in oxygen, of course, is still six. But the number that it claims looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So I have six minus seven is minus one, and I often just draw it that way, okay? How about for that nitrogen right in the middle? Uh, nitrogen has a valence of five, so we'll be looking to see uh, uh, how many it claims. And so that nitrogen, it claims that one lone electron up there, two, three, four. This, this nitrogen is only claiming four electrons. So I have uh, five minus four is one. So it has a, uh, uh, you know, we could put it that way, a plus one formal charge. Okay. Um, sometimes you have resonance structures, alternate resonance structures, and the formal charges can change according to uh, wh where you put the electrons. So let's just do one right here. Um, I'll just focus on that carbon right now. Uh, carbon has a valence of four, and how many is this carbon claiming? Well, one for that bond, two, three, four, five. So four minus five, that's a, that's a minus one on that carbon. Okay, and uh, let's see about this carbon over here. It's the same, it's just another resonance structure, but now I can see that uh, this carbon has one, it's claiming one, two, three, four, uh, valence of four minus four. So now this has a formal charge of zero. Okay.